So there are truths to be known about human experience. And I'm arguing to you that certain of these truths are worth knowing and that they can help us lead better lives. For instance, not to know that there's an alternative to being lost in thought is to be a kind of prisoner of sorts. Now, some of you may be lucky. You just may think happy and interesting thoughts all day long. Okay, but I'm imagining that most of you are more like me, where it's like you've been kidnapped by the most boring person on earth <laughs> and just forced to have the same conversation over and over again. Being identified with thought is analogous to being asleep and dreaming. It's a mode of not knowing what's going on in the present moment. You could even call it a form of psychosis. I mean, consider what happens in dreams. You're lying there, you fall asleep, although you probably don't look this good doing it. <laughs> okay, so you, you, you lie down to sleep, right? And then you suddenly find yourself wandering in an airport all alone. And then you're in the company of a gorilla. Right? <laughs> and the mind doesn't even blink. Right? It seems to have no expectation of continuity. The most surprising thing about dreams is surely our lack of surprise when they arise. This is probably due to the diminished activity of the frontal lobes during REM sleep. But the, an analogous thing happens to us in the waking state with our thoughts. We, we will tell ourselves the same thing 15 times in a row. Now just imagine if other people could hear your thoughts broadcast on a speaker all day long. You would seem completely insane. <laughs> and, and who are we talking to in the first place? Most of us feel that we're the thinker of our thoughts. We feel that we're, there's a thinker in, independent of the thoughts themselves. And I hope to convince you in this hour that that's an illusion. But the thinker is playing both sides of the conversation. So, you know, I walk out here and I, I think, oh good, they, they put water on the table. Okay. I can see that there's water on the table. Okay. Who am I telling? Okay. Is, is there someone inside me who can't see the water? The I and the me are keeping each other company. It really doesn't matter if your mind is wandering over current problems in mathematical logic or cancer research. If you are thinking without knowing that you're thinking, you are confused about who and what you are.